Hi, my name is Nana and welcome to my channel, A Puzzling Lamb. Today's video has been planned for a very long time, but for different reasons I've had to, or I've chosen to delay it until now. So in this video I will be reviewing the brand Pomegranate Puzzles, but I won't just do one puzzle from the brand, I will do three in three different piece counts. Because in my experience with some brands, there can actually be quite a lot of quality difference depending on the piece count. So I'm going to do a 300 piece puzzle, a 500 piece puzzle and a thousand piece puzzle. And the puzzles are these. First, this 300 piece very very cute puzzle and then also a very cute puzzle this one with 500 pieces and then for the thousand piece puzzle i several months ago when i first planned to do this video i asked you to choose between these two puzzles so first there was this Charlie Harper puzzle or this with Edward Gorey's book covers and on Instagram the Charlie Harper puzzle actually won by one vote but here on Instagram this book covers puzzle was the clear favorite so it's this one I will be doing in this video but before I show you my review of these puzzles I want to show you all the rest of my pomegranate puzzles. So again, I have this one by Charlie Harbour. And as you will see, I have quite a lot of puzzles by Charlie Harbour. I really, really love his art style. So there was that one. Then I have this one. Also really pretty. I just really like the graphicness, if you can say that and the colors in these puzzles and they're so much fun to put together i have this one which as far as i remember i feared would be quite difficult because as you can see it's very much the same colors all over and it's basically a mirrored image but i actually don't remember it being that difficult and this is one I would love to frame and hang one day. Then I have this one that I haven't done yet. So this one I'm also expecting to be quite difficult. And it's probably the reason why I haven't done it yet. But it's so beautiful and a little bit different than the other Charlie Har Harbour puzzles I have. And then the last pomegranate puzzles I have is this one. And I'm not going to try and pronounce that artist's name. I'm sure I'll just butcher it. But I really love this one. One of my other big hobbies besides puzzles is baking. So this was ju is just perfect for me. And it was also really fun to put together. It's a very long time since I did this. But... I remember that everything here was actually was pretty easy and it was only right here that it was difficult because even here there are quite a lot of lines and shadows so I'm sure I'm going to do this puzzle again one day I really really loved it but that was all the pomegranate puzzles I have I'd love to have some more they're not the easiest to find here in Denmark but as you can see I have managed to accumulate quite a collection. But now let's move on to the review and comparison of a 300, a 500 and a thousand piece pomegranate puzzle. First, I just quickly want to apologize for the lighting. Even though we are past the morning time, it is still pretty dark outside so I had to turn on my lights and these boxes are quite matte, but I still think it is creating a bit of glare, so sorry about that. But moving on, I want to start with comparing the boxes. 
And the first thing I always notice with pomegranate puzzle boxes is how sturdy they are. Seriously, these are some of the sturdiest puzzle boxes I've ever seen. I love them. Now, comparing them, the obvious, obvious difference is the size. The thousand piece puzzle box is a little bit bigger. The 500 and 300 are the same size. Now, as you know, I don't like it when puzzle boxes are too big. And if we just open these up, up take these pieces out of the 500 piece puzzle box, you will see that a thousand pieces can actually quite comfortably fit in the box for the 500 piece puzzle. So I will say this box could be smaller, it could be the same size as this one, but it's not that big of a deal. Just putting these back again. It's not that big of a deal because while it, is, it could be smaller, obviously it could be smaller, it's not ridiculously big. So moving on to the design, even though the boxes are different sizes, the design is the same. The image doesn't fill out the entire box, so the image could be bigger, but there is nothing covering up the image. The logo, nothing is covering up the image, which is a very positive thing. And the design itself, I really like. I like it, it, it. the graphic nature of the design. You have the logo, pomegranate art piece puzzle, the name puzzle and the artist, the number of pieces and all the pomegranate puzzles I have, the colors on the box are different. They match the puzzle image nicely and all the boxes look great together on a shelf. Now the sides of the box, the same on the mall, on all the boxes. You have a small image here, name of the puzzle, number of pieces, logo, and the same thing all the way around. Now, one thing I like, and it's a small detail that, that I love when puzzle brands do, is if you look on this short side here, it's nice if you have your puzzle stacked this way on your puzzle shelf, and here if you have them stacked this way on your puzzle shelf, the image direction matches, and it's the same here. It's nice this way, and here it's nice to have it stacked this way. I love that, so no matter how I store my puzzle on my shelf, the image here will always be facing up. Now the back of the boxes, turning them all around. Again, the design is the same on all of the boxes. You have a smaller image here. You have the, again, name, number of pieces. Here it says, talks a little bit about pomegranate puzzles, you can pause to read. It has the Instagram there. And then it also talks a bit about the art and the artist. And I really love the focus on the art and the artist. It's always a positive thing when puzzle brands credit the artist. Now something it says here that it says in some of the other puzzles I have by pomegranate, it says here, this image shows the artwork in its entirety. The puzzle shows slightly less, so please refer to the box top image when putting the puzzle together. So they have cropped the image a little bit to make it fit with the sizes of the puzzle. So it's nice that they show the entirety of the art, but also tells you, don't look at this image, Look at this, this is what's actually on the puzzle. 
Now, as you can see, they also show it says actual size here. So they show the actual size of the puzzle pieces. I will say here with the 500 and 300, they look to be the same size. And when I do this puzzle, we have to check because I'm pretty sure that the pieces are actually quite a lot bigger in the 300 piece. So I don't think this is the actual size. I have encountered that with uh, at least one other brand that also showed the actual size on the box, but where it was wrong. And mostly I think it's just a bit funny that they've made that mistake, but it could also be a problem. If the size of the pieces matter a lot to you, it is misleading. But we'll have to check that when I get to this puzzle. So overall, I really, really like pomegranate boxes. It's a nice design. It's sturdy. The size is acceptable. Could be a bit smaller, but it's acceptable. And there is a lot of information. Oh, I think I forgot to mention it also mentions, of course, the size of the finished image. I think actually, yeah, <laughs> as I suspected, you can see that the 500 and 300 piece puzzle is the same size when it's finished. So the 300, by all logic, have to have bigger pieces. So there is a mistake on this box. I don't know if that's a mistake that's on all the 300 piece puzzles. This is the only one I have, so, but it is worth noting. So, the first puzzle I want to do is the thousand piece one. I believe thousand piece puzzles are the most common piece size, so I think this will be a good base to compare the other puzzles with. So, let's open it up. Now one thing I really like about pomegranate puzzles is that the pieces, it's a plastic bag they come in, but it is a resealable plastic bag. I have heard from some people that perhaps in the newer puzzles it's no longer a resealable bag. I hope that's not th something they have moved away from completely or permanently because it's a very big puzzle for me. Now there's also a little Note here with thank you and the socials, social media pages here. Now let's see if I need, yeah, I'm going to need a scissor to cut this open. So just a sec. Okay, so let's see. So I'll save this bag for when I'm done with the puzzle and taking it apart again. I really love its resealable bag. Okay, so the pieces. The first thing I notice is that all the different piece shapes are here. You can see it's not just the two in, two out. So that's a really big positive. The image is semi matte, I think I'd say. It's not completely matte, but it's close. As you can see here, yeah, I'm getting a bit of gla glare from my lamp, but it really isn't bad. Uh, the texture, there is a slight, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, or oh, if I can sense it here. There is a slight texture. It's not linen texture, but yeah, a slight texture, but mostly smooth. The image looks crisp and clear. You can see here a bit of text. It doesn't look pixelated, which I think is always a worry with images with, you know, old style images where the resolution is that what you call it might not be the highest but it looks crisp and nice here and the colors looks pretty true to the box i think that piece goes there i think it's pretty close 
So yeah, all in all, I like these pieces. There's a lot of vi vi variety. I don't think I can say that word. There is a lot of variation, let me put it like that, uh, within the piece shapes, shape types. So if you see here, yeah, it is, it has been a while since I've put together pomegranate parcel. I remember it as being great quality, but my sense of great quality has perhaps also changed over time. With the more and more parcels I do, I get a better sense of the different qualities that are out there. But at first glance, it is, as I remember, great quality. The thickness of the pieces, not the thickest pieces, not the thinnest, pretty standard, I believe. It feels sturdy. Now, as I remember, I think I've done a puzzle from them where one of the tabs on a piece like this were uh, had come off because the cut of the puzzle, it was cut so thinly here that even though it's sturdy pieces, it did come off. But I've only, that has only happened to me once. Hopefully it won't happen again. So looking forward to seeing the quality in action. Now strategy with this puzzle. You could do a full sort on this, take a look at each piece, figuring out what book cover it belongs to and just sort it into all the book covers. I do not have the patience for that. So I think what I'm going to do, of course, sort the edge. I think this is one where the edge will be pretty easy to put together. And then perhaps the pinks, the pink here, uh, pull that out. There's some blue, some yellow, Pu pull out the colors instead of the book covers and then have a whole pile of non-sorted pieces. This section here, this little stripe here, will probably be pretty easy to see, so I'll probably pull that out also. But yeah, as always, I don't plan too much ahead with what I want to sort, because I find that if I plan a lot, I want to sort that section and that section, and then when I actually go through the pieces, it's something completely different that stands out to me. And I start shifting halfway through what I'm actually sorting and it's just a mess. So I'm just going to see. I can see that this plum color or whatever you call it, that is a part of the puzzle. And you can see, so perhaps the edge is not going to be quite as easy as I thought. You can see these are edge pieces, so on the long sides here, the edge is going to be completely solid colored. So perhaps I won't do the edges first. I always like to have the edge first, but if it is completely solid colored, I might wait. Perhaps the edges, yeah, so this is probably a top or bottom edge. Here you, there is a part of the image, so those will probably be put together and then I will probably sort out, so you can see these are not edge pieces, but they do belong to this edge, so it would go like this, you know. So I'll probably sort out all the pieces that are not edge pieces, but does have some of that color on it. So I will probably do this inside edge first, and then perhaps do the actual edge. But let's see. Um, since I have to do three puzzles in this video, I don't know how many updates I'll give you along the way putting this puzzle together. So perhaps I'll first check in with you when I'm about halfway. We'll see. For now, I will start sorting this puzzle.
As you can see, I am not halfway yet, but I have been going for about an hour, so I thought it was a good time to check in. And that hour is without sorting, because obviously, of course, I forgot to start the timer. So it's an hour of actually putting the puzzle together, and I must say that most of that time have gone to the edge. I've spent on the edge, but it wasn't as bad as I feared. I'm not sure it's picking up with my bad lighting here, but there actually is a slight color difference along the edge edges. So it's a little bit darker in the middle than it is near the edges. And a very positive thing is that I haven't experienced any false fits yet. There is a good variety. I really can't say that word. In the P-shapes, P-shaped types, and within them there are no false fits. And that is really something to fear with solid colored sections like this, but it was no problem. And beside the edge, this is a really easy image. I love a collage style image like this. It's just so much fun just doing one book cover at a time. And I'm really enjoying it. Now going back to the fit, it is, I think, a bit inconsistent within the parcel. So you can see here, for example, it holds together pretty good. And here it's also in some sections nice. You can see here I just lost a piece. Ah. But it seems tight enough and then there are some areas where it seems pretty loose so it could perhaps be a bit of a tighter fit but i have experienced parcels with a way looser fit than this i have been able to move some small sections around so it's perfectly acceptable another thing i want to show you is the amount of puzzle dust so i purposely kept it in the box here so you can see I would say this is about the standard amount of puzzle dust, perhaps a little bit more than standard, but I don't know. I I am not bothered with puzzle dust. I mean, I would perhaps prefer there to be no puzzle dust. I like it when there's no puzzle dust, but it doesn't really bother me. But if it's something that's important to you, you can see here the amount of puzzle dust in a thousand piece puzzle. As you can see, I still have a bit of a bit sorted here. I have the blue pieces that I can sort a little more into the lighter and darker sections. And I have a bit of the yellow here also. So I'll do these sections and then what's left I have in here, all of this looks a little bit more difficult to sort perhaps, but I think when you take a closer look, there are a lot of things you can sort by. Now I'll try and grab the box here. So I think this snake up here, I can see several pieces with the snake. I think that will be easy to sort. I can see some red here that I can sort. There's also some of these pieces all of these, I think, is this Dracula book cover. So I think when you take a closer look, there's also all of these. You can see these. I think it's this one. So I think when it comes down to it, it'll be pretty easy to sort. I don't know when I've put these pieces in. If I'll try and do a whole sort, I might just pick out a few books and sort those out and just take it as it comes. I do get a bit bored when I have to sort a lot of pieces at a time. So even though it would be faster to just sort everything out in one go, I might just take one or two books at a time. Also, and I've talked about this before, I am not trying to do this as fast as I can. I very, very rarely am. So that one hour it's taken me so far, I have been watching a show going on in the background. 
I really haven't tried doing it as quickly as I can. So keep that in mind when you see how long it takes me. It might take you a lot faster if you're actually trying to do it as quickly as you can. So yeah, as I said, I might not always do this in the quickest way possible. I might not always sort it out in the way that it will be quickest. I'm just enjoying myself here. The timer is purely because a few of you have asked about it, how long it takes with puzzle, and it is a good way to measure how difficult a puzzle is. But yeah, take that with a grain of salt. So yes, this is where I am after an hour. I am not counting on this taking very long. Oh, and as you can see, I actually ended up not sorting that Edge here, I thought it would be really, really obvious, but and now that I look again, I can see some of the pieces, but I don't know, it, it didn't really caught my eye. Those pieces didn't really caught my eye when I sorted, so so yeah. And instead also, I actually did, hadn't planned on sorting that book, but those orange pieces, they really stood out. So that's what I mean by not having too much of a plan when it comes to sorting beforehand because I can look at an image and think that some pieces will stand out when it's something completely different. Oh, and one more thing. The color from the pieces, from the actual puzzle and the box, I think matches. I don't know. I, I always think it's difficult to show on camera. The colors are also always a little bit different on camera than in real life. Perhaps the colors on the pieces are a bit more saturated than on the box, but it's by a tiny amount. I would not have thought about it. I would not have noticed if I weren't making this video and had to think about everything. So I know perhaps you can see it here a little bit, but it's really, really close. And also, again, you can see there is a bit of glare here, but I also have some lights shining directly down on them. Uh, it has not bothered me. There haven't really been any glare that have been an issue while doing the puzzle. It's not the maddest pieces I have seen, but it is definitely on the matte side of things. So no issues with glare. The fit could be a little bit tighter. No false fits acceptable amount of puzzle dust really lovely image to put together so all in all i'm happy and now i'll just finish this up and we'll move on to the other piece counts before i give my final thoughts on this puzzle
Here is the finished puzzle. Such a fun image to put together. Such an easy image to put together. I must admit I did lose track of the time a bit. When I finished the puzzle, I looked at the timer and then I completely forgot to stop it. But as far as I remember, it took me a little under three hours. And again, that's without the sorting. And I believe that's really quick for a thousand piece puzzle, especially when I actually didn't try to do it quickly. So it just shows how easy this image is. Now for the quality, for the fit of the pieces, you can see now that it is completely put together, the fit does seem okay, but it is a place where I think there's a little bit room for improvement is the looseness of the pieces. But it's a small thing and overall I'm just really happy with the experience of putting this puzzle together. So now I will move this puzzle on to another board so I can get started on the 500 piece puzzle. Since we already have taken a look at the box, let's just move straight into taking a look at the pieces. So again, this little thank you note with their social media pages. And again, the pieces come in a resealable plastic bag. And this time I've remembered the scissors. Let's just cut this open. And let me see, I think I'm just going to put the pieces out directly on the puzzle board, if I can get this up like that, because I want to compare the pieces to this little image they have here on the back that they say are the actual piece size. So let's see. Yeah, I think that does match pretty good. So that is correct. Okay, so let's take a look at the pieces. Obviously the pieces are bigger. I'll compare them to the thousand piece puzzle in a moment. I like to see that there are all, still are, all the different piece shapes because I believe that something some brands do is when the pea size isn't as big, they sometimes just use the two in, two out pea shapes. I'm very happy that they haven't done it here. Again, the image looks crisp and clean. And let's compare the colors. Now, I don't know exactly where this is on the box, but I think it looks pretty good. I can't really see any difference. So I'm happy about that. Now I have the thousand piece puzzle right here. So let's just compare, compare it here. So obviously, as you can see, perhaps I should take out a piece. So you can see the size difference here. Now, the whole thing with the pieces being bigger in a 500 piece puzzle than a thousand piece puzzle, a lot of brands do this, not all brands, but a lot of the brands I've tried do this. And I think it's a bit of a personal preference thing if you like the pieces to be bigger. I think it's a good idea for People who may need bigger sized pieces to do a puzzle. Perhaps they have some issues that makes it easier with larger pieces. If you have bad eyesight or there's a lot of reasons it's nice to have bigger pieces. I also think it's nice so that even though it's a smaller piece count, you end up with a nice large finished product. Now the downside of bigger pieces is that otherwise if it were the same size as this one then the upside would have been that the finished product 
wouldn't take up as much room. So if space is an issue, it's nice to have 500 piece puzzles with the normal sized pieces. But again, it is a matter of personal preference. And I will say that it is nice that they show here the actual piece size. So you know when you buy it, at least if you buy it in store, I think it, if you buy it online, it depends on whether they tell you, but on the box you can tell that the pieces will be bigger. So you can choose this puzzle because of it, or you can choose not to buy it because of it. Okay, so let me remove this again. So taking a look at the image, and I must say I am really looking forward to seeing how long this will take me, because compared to the thousand piece, because even though this is half the amount of pieces, I think the image is quite a lot more difficult. So this might take just as long as the thousand piece puzzle, maybe even longer, who knows. I always say that the difficulty of puzzle has nothing to do with the amount of pieces, but it has to do with the difficulty of the image. Now, again here, I think I'll sort out the edges first. The edge is probably the most difficult part of this puzzle, but as I've said before, I like having the edge and it is only 500 pieces, so I hope it won't be too difficult. And then I think I will probably sort out the sky here. I don't know if I'll be able to see what is the bears or if it'll just look a lot like the trees here. So. Again, I think I'll just see what happens. Perhaps the only thing I'll sort out is the sky and then I'll just grab pieces from the box. But I'll see. This image is not something, not in the style that I would normally choose. This kind of very realistically painted landscape image. But I just fell in love with this image right away. I think the colors are beautiful. I think there's something magical about it with these bears and these butterflies. So it's, it almost feels like a fantasy image. I really love it. I probably wouldn't have bought it if it were a thousand pieces because I think it would just be too difficult for what I would want. But yeah, let's see. I'll sort this and then I'll try and see if I can check back in with you when I'm about halfway or when I think it's a good time to check in.
so it's been about an hour and as you can see I ended up only sorting out the edge pieces and then I just have everything else here and I'm not doing any more sorting I'm just picking out the pieces I need and I must say I can already tell that this image is a lot more difficult than the thousand piece puzzle and one thing that also has made it a bit more difficult first of all you can see I am missing two edge pieces I'm sure they're in here somewhere but actually I did have a couple quite a few false fits when doing the edge which I think is quite interesting because even though this is a very difficult edge to put together when compared to the thousand piece puzzle where the edge was completely solid colored I didn't have a single false fit in that one so it's a bit interesting uh, the difference that I had some false fits here I haven't had any false fits during the rest of the puzzle yet so hopefully it's just an issue with the edge now I will say I love this image but I can also understand why I don't normally gravitate towards these kind of images it is looking a bit daunting this I am definitely glad that this isn't a thousand piece puzzle but other than the false fits in the edge the quality seems to be the same as the thousand piece parcel again the pieces are a bit bigger and I think it makes them fit together more tightly you can see it is still on the loose side but yeah perhaps a little bit tighter fit than the thousand piece puzzle now one thing I want to show you that has nothing to do with pomegranate puzzles because if you follow me on Instagram you saw that I want to say recently I have no idea how long it's going to take me to finish this video perhaps recently perhaps a long time ago I posted a wheel with a haul of puzzles from the brand Das Puzzle Collective or something like that and if you saw that wheel you saw that besides the puzzles I bought from that brand I also got a holder for puzzle box tops lids whatever you call it so you can see here it's a wooden one and it holds the box top beautifully and it's very sturdy it isn't going anywhere so I'm really happy about it you can see it fits this size box perfectly I haven't used it very much yet I haven't had it for very long you can see it here without the box I'm really enjoying this I've seen other holders like this from some other brands but no one I've been able to get my hands on so I'm really really happy about this I've been looking for something like this for a very long time this is going to be a treasured part of my puzzle accessories collection but back to this puzzle I have a feeling it's going to take a while to finish it it's quite enjoyable doing the sky bit here it's kind of like a gradient but again all of this looks very daunting I can see there are still a few pieces here that is the sky section I don't know perhaps the thing I have to look for is all the butterflies but oh, they are kind of all over the image so I really don't know what my strategy is from here for now I'm just going to finish the sky and wish me luck because I think this might take a while
I really love this image. Now that the puzzle is finished, I didn't particularly enjoy putting it together as a puzzle, and it is 100% a matter of preference. And it's not that I can't enjoy a difficult puzzle. I do that quite a lot, actually. But there's just something about this that didn't speak to me as a puzzle, but as an art or a piece of art, I really, really love it. So it just goes to show that beautiful image, a image that you love, won't always make for a puzzle that you love. But again, that's just me. You might love putting this together. If it had been 1,000 pieces, I probably would have given up. But I'm glad I didn't with this one because the finished result is really beautiful. I love the colors. I think the thing I enjoyed doing most was probably this sky bit here. I did struggle quite a lot with the trees here. The bears, I were actually able to tell what were the bear fur and what were the trees, so they weren't that difficult either. And as for the time, it took me two hours and 50 five minutes so actually pretty much the same amount of time as the 1000 piece puzzle and that just goes to show that the difficulty level of a puzzle really has nothing to do well or a little to do <laughs> with the piece count but a lot to do with the image this was a difficult image the 1000 piece puzzle had a very easy image so they ended up taking about the same amount of time. Now, for the quality, there is only one thing where I think the quality differs from the thousand piece puzzle, besides the pieces being bigger. But if I can get it on camera, perhaps you can see that it's like the puzzle pieces, some places don't really lie flat. I don't know how well you can see it on camera. It's quite obvious when I look at it, but it is, you can see here, it does stick out some places like they just, yeah, it won't lie completely flat. And it's not something you notice when you look at it from this angle. So if you really like this image and you perhaps want to hang it, you wouldn't notice at all when it's on your wall. It is just from this angle that it's quite obvious. And I don't think it's something, it's it's not really something that's happening on the thousand piece puzzle. So yeah, a little bit of a quality difference there and something worth noticing. It's not a deal breaker for me if I come across a 500 piece pomegranate puzzle that I love. I will still buy it. Definitely not a deal breaker, but worth mentioning. So now let's move on to the last puzzle, the 300 piece puzzle. So here we have the last puzzle for today. And once again, since we've already taken a look at the box, let's quickly move on to the pieces. Oh, and right away, there's a difference. This is not a resealable bag. So I don't know if this is because it's a 300-piece puzzle, if it's like this in all of the 300-piece puzzles, or if it's, as I mentioned before, that they perhaps have moved away from the 300-piece puzzles, and if this... No... Uh, sorry, moved away from using resealable bags. So I don't know, perhaps I can see when these are made. I, I will take a closer look at that later, see if I can figure out when these different puzzles ha have come out, if this is a newer one. So yeah, it's a shame. I really like the resealable bags. But let, let's take a look at the pieces. So, 
checking I have all the pieces. Okay, so once again, what I notice is the size. And as I said, with the 500 piece puzzle, the bigger piece size, again, is a bit of a preference. There are advantages and disadvantages to both. I will say I enjoy larger pieces sometimes at least, but these are really big. I will compare them to the other puzzles in a minute. But let's look at the image. I think it looks again stuck together here to be pretty crisp and clear. Oh, there. <laughs> And once again, I really like seeing this, the different pea shapes. So I really, really like that, that it's not just the two in, two out. That I think a lot of brands do when they go down in piece count. But yeah, they seem to be sturdy like the others. The image quality looks nice. Let's compare them to the other puzzles here. If I can get them in frame. So you can see if we compare them here. Oh, again, perhaps I should take one out. Here, yeah, you can see the size difference. So I already think these are a nice big size. I think these are really big, but I'm sure there are a lot of people that really like this piece size. And I really don't mind it, but I would perhaps prefer that if they were to make the pieces bigger in the 300 piece than in the 1000 piece. I mean, this is a nice bigger size puzzle piece without it being ginormous like this one. But again, a preference thing and nice to know. So let's see with this puzzle. I, I'm even struggling when it's just one piece. But now let's just compare here because yes, as you can see, it is definitely not correct that that is the actual size. I don't know, again, I don't know if this is a mistake that's on all of the 300 piece puzzles. I think it's mostly just a bit funny that that mistake is there, but it is also a pretty bad mistake to make because some people might be looking for this piece size and choose not to buy this puzzle because they don't think the pieces are big enough or they might not like this piece size but buy this puzzle because they think the pieces are this size. So, yeah. Now I feel like I kind of have to get my hands on more 300 piece pomegranate puzzles so I can see if this is a mistake that's on all of them. If you have a 300 piece pomegranate puzzle, please let me know if that mistake is also on your puzzle. Okay. I'm moving those away. But I am really looking forward to this puzzle. This image is probably a lot more my style as a puzzle image than the 500 piece were. I am not expecting this to take very long. I think if this were a thousand piece puzzle, the image might actually be quite difficult. But for a 300 piece puzzle, I think that this section, these tree tops here, the tree trunks, there are these, I think, are supposed to be lights. I think a lot of those will be easy to spot. And even the cats will be easy to spot these cats from these cats. And again, it's 300 pieces. I think I'm going to do pretty much the same as with the 500 piece puzzle. So I'm just going to 
sort out the edges, turn all the pieces over and then just have them laid out so I can see all of the pieces at once and pull them out as I need them. But let's see, I might be wrong, this might be the most difficult puzzle of them all, but I doubt it. I think this is going to be really, really fun to put together. <laughs> I was right, this did not take long. It only took 51 minutes and I really, really enjoyed it. Now, as you probably saw, I do have an extra piece, a duplicate piece, this edge piece here. It did confuse me a bit at first. I couldn't quite get everything to fit. So this means that there are someone out there who is missing a piece. 
this is something that just happens sometimes. I won't say it's it says anything about the quality of pomegranate puzzles. Now, if I had been missing a piece in all three puzzles, it would be an indicator that there were some quality control issues. But it happens, and I'm just sorry for the person who's missing this piece. But other than that, I really have no complaints about the quality in this one. I haven't noticed, I don't think, that the pieces have the same issue as the 500-piece puzzle where they don't lie flat. It looks perfect to me. And, yeah, really, the only complaint I have about this puzzle is the fact that the pieces didn't come in a resealable bag. I wish they did. And, personally... I didn't need the pieces to be this big. I think it would have been fine if they were the same size as the 500-piece puzzle. And then you'd also had the advantage that the finished image would be smaller and would need less, less space. So for people who don't have a lot of space to puzzle, it would have been nice that the pieces weren't quite as big as they are. But yes, I really, really loved this one. It's really nice with these small piece count puzzles. I might do 1000 piece puzzles and 500 piece puzzles the most, but sometimes you just need something quick and easy like this. And this image is just so cute. All of these cats and again, if this, this had been 1000 pieces, I think it really would have been a difficult image just this section here alone would have been a nightmare if it were a thousand pieces. But as a 300 piece puzzle, this is just perfect. Overall, I'm really impressed with the quality of pomegranate puzzles and I will not hesitate a single second before buying a new one. Now, as you saw, I didn't enjoy the 500 piece puzzle very much, but that was purely a preference thing with images. I'm sure there are a lot of other people that will love that puzzle. Quality wise, there really wasn't a big difference. The main thing were the size of the pieces. And then as you saw in the 500 pieces piece puzzle, the pieces didn't lay quite flat, but that is really nitpicking and it wasn't a problem with the other puzzles. And it really wasn't a problem in the 500 piece either, but it was a little thing worth mentioning. And then, of course, the fact that the bag in the 300 piece puzzle wasn't resealable. And I actually did write to Pomegranate to ask them about it, if all the bags in the 300-piece puzzles are single-use or if it's because they're moving away from using resealable bags. I haven't received an answer yet. I only did write to them yesterday. But if and, we when, if and when they reply, I will write their answer in either the description or in a pinned comment. Now, what I want to know from you is which of these three puzzles you would most, most like to do. Have you tried a pomegranate puzzle before and what was your experience? And of course, have you tried any brands where the quality differed a lot depending on the piece count? I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. See you next time.